Have you guys ever heard of Virgie Tovar? She's a feminist and fat activist who's written books about body positivity. To be honest, I have never heard of her name before. I only ever learned about her when looking for articles about fat phobia. This was during the time I was creating my toxic body positivity video. And who would have guessed, she has a YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, I'm award-winning fat activist and professional feminist killjoy Virgie Tovar. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, sweetie. Your video hasn't even started yet. And I'm here today to talk to you about an epidemic that's affecting women everywhere. It's called CRFI. You say it like I know what that means. Well, it's a good thing I do. CRFI is an acronym and it stands for Cake-Related Fatphobic Incident and is defined as a moment when it's time to eat cake, but that time is interrupted by a moralizing impulse. In other words, I'm mad that other women choose to have a smaller slice of cake than me. Inevitably, there's always someone at the party who has to declare publicly that their slice is too large, and that the person who's cutting the cake, almost invariably a woman, must do some disproportionate amount of labor in order to accommodate their need to feel superior. A disproportionate amount of labor? When did cutting less or more cake become a form of labor? And why does it matter that the person cutting the cake is a woman? Small, like a little bit more, like tiny, no, like less, less than what you're smaller, please. Could you just cut my piece into 12 equal symmetrical little pieces and put each one into a tiny little Tupperware so that I can have a bite for each month of 2018? Thanks. Oh, I get it. Wait. No, I don't, because accommodating your annoying guests is an expectation. You are the host, after all, and I fail to see the fat phobia in asking the host to modify a dessert for you. I'm lost. I am very lost. CRFIs typically happen in environments where there are primarily or exclusively women. Women are disproportionately negatively affected by diet culture because diet culture maps onto sexism. The fuck is diet culture? And yes, women are expected to look good like everyone else. Also, yes, if you're a girl, it will take more effort to lose weight because men and women have different body physiologies. Also, are you saying that women and girls are a little mean to each other in environments where they are the majority? I fail to see where men contribute to your so-called fat phobia, Virgie. Like many parts of diet culture, there is a significant performance component. You have to show others that you are being good. Controlling how much you eat is part of what it means to be a, quote, good woman. Well shit, I guess it's still the patriarchy's fault that women are generally mean to each other in social settings, an activity characterized as relational aggression. It's easier for girls to be mean to each other because your experiences are similar, and so is your shared gender. It's interesting how you can't find this in male populations, but there are many theories about why this activity is specific to girls and women and not boys and men. Link in the description if you want to learn more about it. Watch how this woman demonstrates a different way to engage with cake. Thank you. No thank you. Practice just taking the cake slice you're given, or simply saying no thanks. Don't make other people be your cake nanny, because women already have too much on their plate. And so do men, sweetie. You're not special. But I get it. Your life is empty without your imaginary oppression and fat phobia. It's almost like you need to say that the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Because without that, how are you going to maintain your victim complex? I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want more videos like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time.